This is Eterna. This is the EOS M. They look pretty identical. Yo guys, this is pretty wild. I think I just figured it out how to turn our EOS M look to look just like Fujifilm's Eterna. I know, crazy, right? A $200 camera, well, I pay $150 for it. $200 camera to look like a $1,000 camera, flagship camera such as the Fujifilm's X-H1 with the ever so praised and respected Eterna Fujifilm simulation. I'm talking about, they look pretty identical. And when you import your DNG lens, it's gonna look just like this in DaVinci Resolve. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna turn it into Blackmagic Design. I'm gonna raise the exposure a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. But I wanna look like the other clip I was shooting at. So we're gonna cool things down a little bit, bring down, uh, raise our green up a little bit, lower our red and the exposure seems to be okay we don't want to clip anything and put our shot saturation to like 80 or something like that it's a little bit too much so i think in this particular clip 80 is really good maybe lift the shot the lift a little bit to like two or three i don't go any higher than like five you know if you want to get that instagram look yeah raise it up but i like to leave it around two or three and yeah grab your sharpness no more than 47. If you go any farther than that, it's gonna look very pixelated. That's it, guys. Look at that. We are pretty much done with this image. We didn't need any LUTs, no plugins, all free with the Minchi Resolve. We're able to match identically to the Fujifilm's color. But if you don't believe me that we can turn the footage of this old EOS M to look just like my Fujifilm X-H1, why don't we just switch cameras? Uh, right now the Fujifilm is shooting with the 23mm f2 lens wide open at Eterna and I'm not going to touch anything in DaVinci Resolve. This is going to be straight out of camera. The video is coming out of the X-H1. It's going to be straight out of the camera. now. With the EOS M, I'm gonna do the little hack I just taught you how to do, but we're gonna apply it into a headshot. So, so here we go. What do you guys think? So, does it look pretty similar? I know the lens, the camera, the aspect ratio, everything is gonna be a little bit different than when we were shooting with the X-H1 earlier, but you gotta admit, right? It looks pretty darn close and not bad for a $200 camera looking like a thousand dollar flagship camera it's amazing guys we can get the EOSM to look like the good old Fujifilm colors and it was so simple right no lots required it was just a few settings here and there in the camera raw settings and we're done we got a nice neutral flat film simulation look that is very cinematic and works great in all sorts of different scenarios so guys, if you found this video helpful and useful, educational, I really appreciate your support by liking, smashing the like button, sharing so the people that are EOSM users or Magic Lantern users can learn how to turn their Canon cameras to look like good old Fujifilm colors. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll catch you again in a future video. So happy shootings. Peace.